So I wanna show you some new cap constructions. And maybe you're new and you're like, well, I, I really do wanna start wearing hair, but where do I start? You walk into a store and somebody says, I love your hair. You're like, oh, you mean my wig? Thanks, because the best feeling in the world is when somebody looks at you and says, excuse me, what? It's a wig? No. How is that a wig? That's when you know you've made it, y'all. Wig wearing is becoming so mainstream. Believe it or not, it really is. There are a lot of people out there discovering wigs, which is another reason why the prices have gone stupid high. And the availability and like, that it's just so hard to get your hands on hair because everybody wants it. Believe it or not, they just scared to admit that they're wearing one. Now, the difference between this cap of hair and the hair that I have on my website and that I do for customs most of the time, like most of my wig caps, um, which I will show you right here. This is what they typically look like here on the inside. It's got that lace front, the weft in back. These bad boys right here, here, are called ear tabs. Ear tabs, um, you either love them or you hate them, but it's kind of difficult to find a luxury human hair wig without ear tabs. Um, the ear tabs are there, um, their main purpose is if you don't have any bio hair, the ear tabs go in like essentially at your sideburn so that you have hair in front that you can maybe tuck behind your ear. Okay, so the difference between that and this um, is the construction of the cap on the inside. No ear tabs. So instead of, now there's still hair here, but instead of the ear tab being fabric with a little bit of lace in front, it's essentially just lace. You're, but you're getting the best of both worlds. If you don't have bio hair, you can still wear this because there's still hair there. You just have to cut around it so that you can fit it to your, your ear or whatever, but you're just gonna have to tape or use you know, glue or use got to be glued gel or spray or something to hold that piece of, of lace in place. There are combs basically right here that are perfect to swoop right underneath that wig grip. It's perfect, right? If you do have bio hair, pull that bio hair out in front. If it matches the hair, if it doesn't, go get yourself some topic or some makeup or something and just kind of like spray it in there so it matches. You could totally do that. It still has the Balm HD lace. It has single knots. Now I will have some available that have single knots in front and double in back because the double knots keep a stronger hold um, but they're harder to conceal, but who, honestly, who looks at the top of your head? This, the double knots also give you more volume um, just at the hair, um, lace space, whatever, but not wiggy-ish. Like I thin these out quite a bit. Another difference with this one is it has a, a removable strap. It still has the um, bra type clips at the nape with that comb, but this also has these removable straps that are also adjustable to give you even more um, security, number one, because it goes underneath the nape, and number two, it's pulling this piece down tighter towards your head, which gives it even more of a, a, a flat lay construction. So it looks more natural. So you can have all the volume back here that you want, but it's gonna pull that front real tight so that it looks more natural. So it's got those single knots in front. The density of the hairline is super, super natural in front. It's not real dense at all. 
and then it gets more dense in back. The last thing that I will mention about these, there's different kinds of origin of hair. And the reason I do this is because it's complete BS. There's so many origins of hair, which basically is saying where the hair came from. Here's the, my problem with this. There is no certificate whatsoever that is, is, is basically claiming or certifying in any legal way where the hell this hair came from. They could say all they want, it's European. They could say all they want, it's Brazilian. They could say all they want, it's Russian. We don't really know. So I'm here to be like completely transparent with you and say, I'm gonna say that these are Brazilian. Most of my stuff is Brazilian. But let's just take that with a grain of salt. Brazilian will hold curls better. Its luster is good. It falls well, it lays well. It moves well, it lasts a long time. Here's a good thing about these. It is easier to wear these because you're not so limited from ear to ear. And I think it also gives you more space to, to move. So size down in these, in my opinion. I gotta end this video, y'all. Lots of boob sweat because uh, my air conditioner is really, really, really loud, so I turn it off during these. I hope this was helpful. I hope you're excited. I hope that you're interested in these new cap designs. I love you. Questions, post below. Subscribe to my damn YouTube. Happy Wiggy Wednesday.